Hello and welcome to another episode of Roleplayer's Guide to the Universe, a show where I take my three friends on a campaign through every and any TTRPG system that I can find. That's right, every single chapter, new TTRPG system. This is chapter two, part three um, of our series where we are playing Kids on Bikes. Kids on Bikes, it's a TTRPG system, it's pretty cool. Your kids, you're on bikes, it's Stranger Things. Um, so my name is Maxton, I am he, him, I am the game master, the dungeon master, multi-master, mythcraft master, MCDC PC, and I am the one who is controlling all. Um, and as you'll see, I have my wonderful friends here today. So Ellen, why don't you start us off? Hi, my name is Ellen. My pronouns are she and her, and I'll be playing... Uh, Desi Linkit. Oh man, I did not really practice Desi's voice before I pre-record and pre-record. Uh, so I'm playing Desi Lincoln, who is a little twelve-year-old outcast, and uh, that uh, that that uh, popsicle was kind of worth it. I still think it was worth it. You slipped right into it. You see, I did. Um, it and yeah, good. I was thinking about those rocket pops. I was I was honestly thinking like, man, when was the last time I had one of those? Those things those things were pretty rad. So Me I too. I would have gone for it as well. Yeah. I yeah, I feel that. Like who wouldn't have gone for a free rocket pop as a 12-year-old kid? From a terrifying scary <laughs> ice cream man yeah. that seemed to just kind of magically appear in the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What could go wrong? All right, and then Emily. Tell us Hello, about yourself. I I am Emily Folger, she her uh playing Ava Lark. Um, though she's Ava Sparrow in this universe, um, multi-dimensional nerd, no matter what dimension, <laughs> she will be an overachieving nerd at something. You can tell by all the bird last names. All the bird last names. <laughs> I'm ex- whole two of them. So We're, far. We'll have to have a nice little short, event- after a couple chapters in, we'll have a little short of all of Ava's last bird names. <laughs> All right, and last, certainly not least, Maggie. Hello, I am Maggie Borden, she, her. I am playing Asteria, who in our larger universe, kind of the lovable slacker of the bunch, but in the kids on bikes world, she is Asteria Bijou Clark, who is the plastic beauty trope. Mm -hmm. Poor poor girl who's been doing beauty pageants since she was hmm, probably four months old. Mm-hmm. give or take give or take yeah yeah and just, i had a whole a whole like speech prepared like her like actual like how she would greet the judges and stuff oh you expect you, to you go know. to a beauty you, i mean there's still time she, exactly she's ready she's who knows prepared. maybe desi is dragging you prepared. desi is dragging you onto a stage right so. now let's hope so you know what she said maybe she said, I don't, do pageants i win pageants so maybe the power of beauty pageants is really what desi needs to break mind control mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah the power of it. the lip gloss just tons of lip gloss a little like tutu thing yep and a lot yeah. of you really minute. just need a dance mom being like do better <laughs> twer, twer. that's my girl up there that's my girl remember to <laughs> smile out. <laughs> yeah, standing yep. in the back of the room. Just... Yep. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Well, y'all is a bunch of children now. Y'all, we all is, we've all been, this is our third trek into the worlds of the tiny, tiny folk. Um, yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to do some more kids on bikes. Uh, we've had, I've, I've had fun with this system so far. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm really yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, last, if you have, if this is, you're just tuning in, uh, definitely check out the previous episode. It's going to be probably kind of confusing for you, you know, right now, but Hey, you live your life. Don't let me tell you how to live your life. (laughs) Sometimes you just got to start on a random episode and get into it. So when last we left our little heroes, um, y'all was inside of a abandoned ice cream factory, the All Smiles Ice Cream Factory, which has sat abandoned at the edge of Ericsville for quite some time, um, for many, many years. And y- y'all being spunky little explorers decided to break in 
do a little B and E, um, and investigate. And when that happened, you you did chance upon a very spooky ice cream man um, appearing in the middle of the uh, warehouse floor. Um, after which Desi suddenly found herself overpowered mentally and um at the the behest of our of our terrifying mr smile uh has begun dragging you um deeper into the ice cream factory and um the first thing you'll notice is like desi has you like like just grabs you by the scruff and is just pulling you um down this hallway and you're struggling, uh, Ava, Astoria, you're struggling, you're twisting, but she has got a death grip on you. Um, and it almost seems like, you know, there's there's clearly, I mean, Desi is strong. You know, Desi has got the ice skater physique, but um, even then, it says, this is surprising. This is some surprising uh, ability to pull you. And as you're being pulled past these other um, hallways, you know, uh, Ava, your flashlight is is bouncing around uh, from its little lanyard strap, um, and you see as it passes by these dark offshoot hallways. Um, you know, you see it uh, in the doorway, and, and and across this hallway, you see Mister Smile is there in the shadows behind. Um, you know, he's down this one corner and then you get pulled farther and there's a series of doors and he's there too. Always there just watching and smiling as you're being pulled um, as if he is somehow teleporting ahead of you, um, watching you. Um, and uh, after a, a minute or so, you get tossed by Desi um into a another freezer there's a freezer door hung open and desi drags you forward and um roughly kind of chucks you both in there and stands in the doorway um and as you land and recover yourselves you look up and you see um in the light from some sunlight coming in from across uh, this hall, you see the form, the silhouette of Mr. Smile standing behind Desi um, with his hands on her shoulders. And he says, now little Miss Lincoln here is actually number six. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you, uh, you children to just wait a little longer uh, before we get going on our real magical recipe. Can I get you anything while you wait? How about a nice little treat? Ava, come on, surely you enjoyed the little bit of ice cream I gave you earlier? Even well, though you did throw it into the trash and cut it apart with your other mixing chemicals? Um, I'll take my friend back. Thanks. No. Oh, you'll have her back soon enough. Soon enough. And you see the door. Uh, Desi steps forward and the door behind her suddenly <laughs> closes. And you hear the locking latch uh, on the other side falling into place. Um, and as Desi walks past you kind of in a trance, your eyes turn um, and begin to adjust to this dark room. This is room is completely black, but your flashlight um, is actually uh, uh, reflecting off a lot of these metallic service sur uh, surfaces. And you see that as Desi walks past you deeper into this freezer, there's actually another bit of light. And as you shuffle yourselves around and look down this this uh this long long freezer room which isn't on by the way it's just perfectly normal temperature it hasn't been running clearly for many years you see um you see there are four uh trays long trays laid out uh i'm sorry there are actually six long trays and on four of those trays lies the body of a small child and hovering above each one of those kids is a small orb of light that seems to be 
pulsing lightly with these blue green kind of tendrils of energy um, just hovering over these four uh, prone forms and even as you watch desi sits down on one of those trays and lays lays her head back um and mr smile is suddenly there standing over her and he says <laughs> well there's nothing wrong with taking just a little taste even if you're saving this one uh for the final course if you know what i'm saying and from his his pocket he pulls a large silver ice cream scoop and holds it over Desi's form as she lays. And with one quick movement, he plunges it into her chest. And even as the horror of this uh, strikes you, you see that it's not, it's gone straight through her as if the ice cream scoop, scoop itself is some sort of ethereal or or ghostly object. And he does a little twist and pulls out one of those orbs from Desi's chest and pulls it slowly, slowly. You see this light pulsing, but this orb is a bit different than the others. Those blue-green tendrils, those blue-green flashes of energy actually seem to be more like tendrils that extend almost like a spider web out to every single uh, direction and just seem to wisp and pass through the walls and the floors of this place. And as this, uh, this small orb comes forth, Mr. Smile stops. He says, Well, now that is interesting. That is very interesting, Miss Desi Lincoln. You've got some surprises in you yet. It's because all I eat are rocket pops and quiche. <laughs> You're just mumbling, it's ah, the rocket pops and quiche. You know. Um and Mr. Smile seems completely taken aback, almost afraid for a moment. Um, and he I'm says, "I'm going to lean over to ask her." And yeah, like, I'm pretty sure this is breaking protocol. I'm pretty sure we're missing the timeline at this point. Um, it doesn't look normal. No, no, none of this is normal. Um, where is, where is Zach and all of this? The last time things got not normal, he kind of came in and at least sort of told us what was going on. I'm going to um, check the yeah. bracelet. Uh, your bracelet is completely inert. It just sits. Just a, on this one. Um, Can we see hers at all? Uh, Desi's? Desi's? Um, yeah. yeah, you could kind of see the reflection um, from this. It doesn't seem to be, you know, it, it's got kind of an unearthly glow c from these other light sources, but okay. otherwise seems to be right. the same. Gotcha. Um, and with a flourish, uh, the ice cream scoop is gone, re, uh, re put back into Mr. Smile's pocket. He takes a step back as this orb slowly sinks back into Desi's chest. And he says, Oh my, 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 things have changed. Things have changed. How have things changed? This isn't right. This isn't right at all. And... With a, a sort of a just a a blink, Mister Smile has disappeared, and you three are left sitting in this old freezer. Um, Desi, you are still uh, kind of comatose, but the other two, you are left alone. I'm rushing over to Desi. Yeah, yeah, doing yeah. the kind of patting of the face, pulling my flashlight out and Come on, Desi, wake up. Wake up. Yeah, you you Flashing do the, the light yeah, her. you put the flashlight over her eyes and you see that they're just completely um her pupils are just huge, just completely um non-responsive. She wasn't acting weird like until minutes ago. Everything seemed fine like 
He had to have known we were going to come here, or he followed us, or something. Like, probably. This is. This I is tested way. the ice cream, though. I didn't see anything weird chemically, so, I mean, obviously it's something more than chemically, but. I don't She's know. the only one who got a rocket pop. She was the only one who got a rocket pop. She should have tested the rocket pop, dang it! She ate it so fast! It's okay, it's okay. We, we didn't know. How could we know? It um, just. He just seemed like a creep. Um. Can I try to try to maybe see if there's like some sort of way out, like a, a vent or something that we can try to crawl out through or Um sure. You could certainly try. You can take a look around. Try? Why don't you make me a brains check? Okay. Ava, you okay. can also assist if that's if Aster Estri is going to be making this known that this is uh her plan. Is the a brand's check. Okay. So that's a... Whew. Well, they're going to keep happy But thought. there are also these other four children lying inert. That I was yeah. going to go, actually, while she's looking around, I'm going to go start, like, looking at the kids Checking doing the them. same kind of flashlight. Yeah, yeah, you Not go... Not touching the glowing orbs, though. You go to each of these kids, and you see that they are, indeed, the four missing children, including Tim who is laying on one of these slabs. But much like Desi, they are all uh, inert. They are all non-responsive um, and don't seem to even uh, be con like aware of anything. Esther, do you see any more kids? He said that Desi was six, but there are only five here. Um, no, uh... It's, I'll, she starts kind of head counting and looking around as she's looking for a vent, which it's, my brains is a D8 and I rolled a three. <laughs> so, okay. that was yeah, weird. you're not. <laughs> I mean, you see some vents and I'm things, but they're way too small. You know, there's gotcha. clearly some vent gotcha. system, but yeah. it's not. It doesn't seem to be like a no. climbable sort of thing. Heard, heard. Um, no, I'm not. I don't think I'm, I'm not really finding anything at all. We're in a freezer. I mean. Um, okay. I don't... Can you hit very hard? Can I hit very hard? Have you seen my nails? That's fair. I was gonna try, like, some cognitive recalibration. Really just trying to hit them really hard. To oh. See if that, like, wakes Desi back up. Um, I could slap her. I'll walk over and just slap Desi. <laughs> just one really good <laughs> swack. Um, yeah, you just, apropos of basically just walk over and just psh, slap Desi straight across the Fair face. Enough. Um, doesn't seem yeah. to be any effect. Um, but Desi's head does kind of slowly go back to center. Um, so, so there is some sort of motor, you know, there's still some sort of motor action. That didn't work. Um, mm. so as you are all gathered around Desi... You notice this orb has sunk back into Desi's chest, but some of these spider webbing strands of this uh, this light um, are still sort of uh, trailing behind. And a number of them, um, you notice, are now wrapping around your wristbands. All three of your wristbands seem to have these kind of spider webby octopus tentacles of light um, kind of tracing across them and uh, as this happens you feel a vibration inside uh, on those ba on those bands um, and that vibration begins to grow and grow and then you notice that several things in this room begin to kind of shake um, you hear metallic items banging together, clicking together. You hear kind of a groaning from the walls. Um, and uh, over beside you in an empty space in the corner of this room, you suddenly see the, the, the space itself begins to kind of shift and pulse slightly as if some sort of black hole or energy source is, is appearing and with one um, very anticlimactic pop 
a loud popping noise. Suddenly, in that space, lightly steaming, you see Zachary's robot from earlier. Um, and it's kind of a taller, uh, a taller, not as cute version of Wally. Um, and with this kind of it folds up and it's got these two little ocular lenses which look up and pan back and forth across this room and then you hear from the chest of this robot is this working is this, is this working is this thing gosh this thing is freaking I, I, hello can anybody can anybody hear me hello can you oh. hear us hello yeah oh uh, yep yeah, hold on one second i just need to calibrate this sound audio transference and um okay uh can you say uh give me a little something a, a little testing your levels here um we really don't have time for this desi is not oh, conscious and we're about to be eaten by an ice cream man okay wow that was really actually loud okay hold on but that that did uh, do the trick um hi, uh hello hello um hello, hello. Un undergraduate students of um anaximander's multi-dimensional class um uh, I I told you I'm sorry to disrupt your field assignment, but I had told you not to mess with the wristbands. And um, when we lost your signal, I I had to take some drastic measures. But it did give me a good excuse to try out my new um, my new uh, invention, my uh, multi-dimensional atomizing robotic condenser. Um, so uh, uh, Mark here is going to uh, bring you back to the school. Um, and uh, we, uh, we really can't right now, Zach. Sorry to cut you off, but um, Mark is great. I have some thoughts. Um, did you not hear the part that Desi is unconscious and an ice cream man scooped her soul out and I think is preparing to eat souls? Yeah, part of the souls what broke the bracelet. At least I assume it's a soul. It's some sort of metaphysical you see, energy. <laughs> you see the like the lenses on this thing. Just there's just no. It's just silence, and then. <laughs> as they kind of turn in a little bit and then slowly pan down to Desi and then back to Ava. Um, what's an ice cream man? Is that some sort of like leader or political figure? Very much so, yes. Sure. Um, I'm not even sure what they are because they're able to scoop souls or some sort of metaphysical energy oh. out of people. Okay, okay, I don't hold think on. This is a standard ice cream man, if I'm being perfectly honest. I, I don't think this is a standard ice cream man. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, slow down. So, wait, he scooped out her soul. Well, the soul mm -hmm. is actually just a connection of, of energy, atomized energy threads, uh, which extend mm -hmm. across the multiverse. Um, I don't know. We, 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 all, we all took 101. Yeah, we, oh. we get that. Oh, okay. But I wasn't... he scooped something out of her that yeah. sure looked like a soul and it attacked the bracelets and that's why you're here so it attacked the bracelets well these bracelets themselves function off of that soul energy that's part of the reason we're able to track you across the multiverse is because the threads that connect one part of your energy uh, signature in this multi in this universe also extend across to other neighboring multiverses. Um, so what it sounds like you're describing is that the uh, soul energy, the raw soul energy presented by this um, ice cream man, uh, it sounds like that was what was able to jumpstart uh, the bracelets after I'm assuming you did something to break them. Um, we we've There's had interference. Break them, Zach. No break. Oh, oh. No maybe you didn't calibrate them correctly. Okay, well I've always okay. Hold on a second. You see like zzz, one robot arm. Zzz. Okay, hold on one second. I have always calibrated. Okay, well, you know what? No, this is not important. This is not important right now. Um, uh, uh, so okay, hold on. I can. I think I can. I think I can reconnect. This the, uh, my my atom uh, my multidimensional atomizing robotic condenser uh, should be able to uh, condense the signal um, of Desi's uh, multiversal signature, um, and you see the robot slowly rolls forward and um, extends like one hand outward. Um, it's got these kind of like three digit hands, um, and two of the fingers like fold back, and there's these like electrical prods. Um, which uh, he just kind of holds over Desi, and he's like, 
Desi, this might sting a little bit. Can can she is she can she hear? Oh, I don't I don't we don't know. She, oh, okay, good. Never mind then. And her. you see there's an electrical burst suddenly. Um and Desi, you are suddenly ripped back to consciousness. You felt like you were floating. Your consciousness was kind of floating in extra dimensional space and suddenly with a snap of a finger boom you're back you have no idea what's been happening uh where'd this robot come from long story sex yeah. um it's Messed actually a multi multi-dimensional oh. atomizing robotic condenser uh has zeke always been a robot no, no, I'm. That's new. I'm not a robot. I am control. It, you know, it's not important. I'll explain the physics of it to myself because you're never gonna even under. You wouldn't even understand or care. I'll, I'll fill you in, Desi. I'll fill you in, Desi. The the nerds are having a moment. It's we we got oh. this. Oh, okay. Um, can we get out of here now? Um, I think the scary ice cream man is back, and he might be after us, and it's very very scary. Yeah, he. Um, yeah. We kind of saw like your soul. Um, that if you look to your left, you'll see other kids with their souls out. Um, I don't want to talk to you, Zach. So, Mark, can you fix the other kids too? Okay. Well, I, it is Zach. Like Mark is just the vehicle for. You know what? Uh, hold on. Um, and uh, he he kind of like pans over and looks at these other. He's like. Um, I I don't have even the basic understanding of these signals. Um, I, I haven't had chance to study the signals of these uh, multidimensional auras, uh, these energy signatures. I, I, I can't even begin to... It would take me days. Well, now's your chance to study them. Okay, it would Cram take... Cram it. it. Okay, well, I think that it would probably be best if I just brought you all back to the university. Um, because Anaximander has been a little upset. The board has been quite angry that we lost three undergrads. So um, we're going to have to kind of go back and deal with that. Uh, Desi looks back over at the kids and she's like, Zeke, we can't, we can't go, we can't leave these, these kids here to this terrible fate. We got to make sure we got to get their souls back in their body. And then and the, there's uh, one that's missing all together. Oh my god! There's one that's missing all together. And then we have to... We, okay, we so you lost a kid about. also? No, no it's been it's, lost. It's been lost. Okay, well, you weren't we trying to help find them. four kids. We're still trying to find one of them, which is more than I can say for you, Zach. Okay, I would like to remind you that your jobs are, you are supposed to keep a low profile and not disrupt um, the general flow of energies through these universes that you're going to visit. Then you didn't. Are there, there any noodle shops? Are there any noodle shops I need to hear about? No. No. Okay. Good. Maybe a thrift store and a library, but you I'm, didn't I'm, burn I'm, any of them down. We didn't burn any of that down. There oh, was that god. old lady that we potentially caused emotional damage to. Oh gosh. I feel like that would have happened either way, though. Probably. She seemed like she was due. You know. Like it was either coming. way, I feel like in terms of disrupting whatever energies. If we leave these three kids plus the other kids here, we don't know what's going to happen to them. <sighs> All right. Also, yeah. Scary Ice Cream Man uh, probably probably has a sussed out that we are interdimensional travelers. And maybe it's not best that he has that knowledge because who knows what he can do with that. Oh, OK. Very true. I hardly. True. Uh, these are very primitive universes from the perspective of like where we come from. I don't think we have to worry about. Um, the technological levels in this sector of the of the galaxy are 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 child's play. I've had children's baby toddler toys that are more advanced than the entire collective knowledge of this er of this area of this ten thousand light year kilometer area of space. And yet Oops. you can't recognize the energy signatures of these souls. Okay, Zach. well, all right, hold on, just let me take a look at it, okay? And he rolls over to the first uh, child. Um, who's a young girl uh, with pigtails. She appears to be, um, you know, maybe eight or nine years old. Um, and he uh, extends his fingers um, towards this orb of energy, um, but stops about an inch away. And you see, you hear kind of like, it's almost like a, a dial-up tone sound, like, dee -dee 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 
and um, you see a number of lights across his arm kind of begin to flicker and uh, light, and he says, no, this isn't correct. How, how, how could he have... Well, somebody has apparently anchored these solar uh, these energy signatures um to these places they appear yes there is appears to be a hold on a second i'm going to um i'm going to be changing uh the uh uh visual spectrum and you see there's a from his eye sockets a sweep of light like like a green laser um and now you see uh floating in the air between these orbs is a number of like lines they are these dark red lines of energy that are um connecting all of these orbs together um and you see even as uh, this laser passes over that one of those lines goes straight to desi's chest um and uh the robot is is uh calculating for a moment and then he goes it Okay, I can't, even if I had the exact signature frequencies uh, for these souls, I, I wouldn't be able to move them. Something something is anchoring them in place. This is actually quite extraordinary. I've never seen any energy signatures. Zach. Uh, yes? Mm, kids. Yeah. Kids. We don't experiment I, on kids. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell you that I cannot help these children. They are appear to be their these souls appear to be at fixed anchor points outside of their normal um their normal dimensional vessel. And is my soul included in that? Because there's a whole line, and that was makes me scary. And I don't know what's going to happen to me if we do try to go back. Like, am I going to be stuck here as a twelve year old hmm. who can't drink beer? I didn't even think about that. Yes, this does pose a slight issue because if my readings are correct, attempting to translate now um, would either leave Desi here permanently or would rip Desi's multidimensional solar energy sequence apart atom by atom, um, negatron by negatron, until there was nothing left but astral dust. Thus, Calling a pre causing a pretty significant wave throughout the multiverse, I am sure. It would yeah. be See, it, I, it would be I less can't than go ideal. Puberty again. You need to get me out of here before we got to go through puberty again. Uh, okay. We can't have you vaporized, so we got. I'd rather be vaporized than have to deal with that again. Okay. Well, all right. I'm uh, I'm doing some calculations. Uh, I, the the best I can t I can tell you is that this 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 sort of this is amazing. It's woven together like some sort of um, uh, multi hyperdimensional quilt. It's it. The best I can tell you is it seems to be three. No, there are three three okay. type three energy nodes of some sort. Disrupt the energy nodes. We sever the connection. We save Desi and the kids, and we come home. Correct. That would be the most logical. Um, point of action yes so we okay. have to get out of here so we can get to wherever those things are mm. Mm -hmm. egressing from this location would probably be um the first point of action yes that i would recommend okay can mark okay. break walls can, can can mark break did you not just hear what i said about the technology of like toddlers of like children of babies actual babies um, okay, can I see him break this wall then? Like, <laughs> I think time is of the essence here, is what it sounds like. And we still gotta find these three nodes, and who knows where they are? Exactly. Do you think Mark can do, like, a, a, a hot and cold thing and let us know if we're getting hot or we're getting cold? Um, I, I, I can try to tune... The I can try to tune Mark's sensors uh, to these to these signatures, but it will take a little bit of time. Okay, but first, okay, the door, the uh, the wall, the door. Okay, great. Um, and you see zzz, the wall you're about uh, rolls forward, um, and uh, kind of stops in front of the large ice uh, uh, freezer door and does a little zzz, a little scanning thing, um, and then his hand comes up zzz, and it kind of folds out into this large kind of long. Um, almost like looks like some sort of gun or some sort of like a uh, device like a, a projectile device and zzz, all right you all want to stand back for this and you see the lights charging zzz, 
and then you just see two small little lasers just fly out and hit two points of this door and the entire door just and crashes forward um with its hinges at uh uh two uh particular places completely smoking and cut through Can I get out of wall? Get out of wall, through walls? <laughs> Child's play. And it starts kind of rolling forward uh, over this uh, the ruins of this fr- uh, freezer door. I mean, I like the robot. I don't like that we have to listen to Zeke all day. Uh huh. I say in a hushed tone that Mark can't hear. <laughs> you think? Just saying, just saying, he's talking about leaving like marks on this universe and doing all of that he just brought a transdimensional robot into this universe of child's play technology so you know he's not even dressed like it's the 70s he's not even trying to blend in yeah Mm, yeah well well i'm i'm at a loss at this point there's been so many crazy things i thought the last place we were at was weird but this is this is yeah, I kind of wish I ha- I could have fire again. That'd be real helpful about now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what you guys are back into the hallway. Where would you like to go? Uh, Mark has a bunch of like like these searchlights kind of come on um, over his shoulders uh, and light uh, the area a little bit better than your little wind up flashlight. Um. I mean, personally, Desi wants to get out of here because who knows when uh, Mr. Smiley is going to be back. Okay. But it said it... that the points of energy are within a kilometer around us. Um, Zach, have you figured out how to track said points of energy yet? I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it now. Okay, these are some very mm. complex calculations. Oh, I'm sure they're very complex for you. I mean, I, I mean, not for... Not for, okay. You know what? I'm just I'm I'm gonna work on this. Okay, just f- focus on getting us out of this building. Aster's gonna lean over to Desi and be like, "Is there, is there, so, is there something going on there? Do you think? Is there? You know, I think what? Ava's a little too cool for Zeke. Oh, I mean, I mean, obviously. I think Ava can do better. Obviously, like, but really, there might be something there." I mean, it might not hurt when we get back to campus and, like, say, hey, like, help us study. Mm-hmm. And then uh, mm-hmm. they get locked into a study room together yeah. and they have to, yeah. like, talk. Yeah. Could be cute. I, th- I think we're on the same page. Okay. Just, I'm just curious. Though I do think she can do better. Well, I mean, obviously. But, like, one step at a time. We've got to get her on a date to then get her on a mm. really good date, right? Like That's, yeah. that's very true. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... As we're maneuvering. The f- I think that maybe we should go to a way not the main way we came in. I feel like Mr. Mm. Ice Cream Man would expect that. So you're going to go, smart. you're going to try to find your way out of a different direction from where you were dragged? Yes. Are there any broken windows or anything around? Mm, there are some uh, windows across this hallway um, set over kind of a little like what maybe might have been like some sort of drinking fountain or some sort of little like you know lounge area it looks like there might have been some bathrooms here um the doors have been completely taken off and it's all kind of uh you know everything is kind of scorched and charred um but there were some windows here that are lightly like partially boarded up but they're pretty high up and they're also quite small um maybe you guys could fit through them but I mean, the robot would certainly uh, have a little more difficulty. I mean, can't Mark just, like, burn down another wall and we just go through the wall and put it back? Um, Okay, well, it takes a little time to charge um, these devices. I am projecting energy across um, several multiversal dimensions um, in order to power this and to keep a a stable connection. It will just take a little bit of time. I can't just knock down every single wall that shows up. What's the point of having an interdimensional robot if you can't knock down every wall you find? Okay, it's an experimental piece, all right? This is part of my my graduate thesis, okay? Thank you very much. Well, your graduate thesis is dumb if you can't knock down every wall we find. 
okay, well, when you become a graduate student and you decide to go back into the multiversal department to experiment on multidirectional uh, travel and signature uh, verification and as well as the translation of uh, materials through, then you can make a robot that can knock down every wall. I'm sure you can do it. Oh, well, only nerds go to grad school. You know, I'm not grad, grad students. No, he said when. He really thinks it's going to happen. Oh, that's, oh, that's uh, being patronizing. I'm, at least I'm dumb, but I know what being patronized is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what would you like to do? There's got to be a back door, right? Yeah, I think Desi will start, uh, I guess, kind of tra- <laughs> trying to track. Okay. Um, She's, like, trying to just wander and find a door that's unlocked. Sure. Uh, does any, any of you guys have any sort of features or abilities that would help with, like, natural navigation? Just out of curiosity? Uh, chemistry. I have cool under pressure may spend one adversity mm. token to take half of your dice's value instead of rolling on a snap decision, which really doesn't help me here. Mm, I mean, I this is sort of a snap decision. You're trying to decide where to go right now. I would almost classify this mm. as, a, as a snap decision um, in the game's terms. Um, so are you going to try to use this cool under pressure to make a snap decision on where you should go? Um, it kind of depends on the dice. Because mm. if it's brains, no. So your grit is going to determine how street smart you are. Let's I will translate street smarts into how do I get out of this urban exploration mission gone wrong? Um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Am yeah. I we assist? allowed to know what the DC is. Um that I got to beat. I can tell yes, I will tell you the DC. It's sort of at my discretion of when you know and when you don't. I will tell you that in order for you, you to find your way out of a different way is going to be a a 11, a DC 11. Mm, so if I use my cool under pressure, that only gets me to a 10. So I just got to roll an 11 or higher on a D20. Mm. And uh, in answer to your question of can you assist, yes, you can use your adversity points to assist in another person's role, but you have to describe to me exactly how you are assisting. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I was I was wondering if we could would be assisting using one of our skills as well. Mm, no, for this check, we're gonna okay. say it's we're going straight with Dizzy Desi's gut, her gut reaction of how to get out of here. Okay. Um, if you think of a if you can think of a way that you would be able to uh to help Desi with that, I'll allow you to spend an adversity token with this roll. Or not I would, roll. I would, I think I I'm would, gonna roll because um, I won't beat like, it I'm if I don't roll. roll. Okay. And also, these are my these are my like dice I crit the most often on. So okay, well, good fives. Before you roll, let me make clear. So it's a DC 11. I believe you said mm-hmm. you're if you're using your cool under pressure, that means you automatically get a 10. So mm-hmm. if you used one adversity point, that would be a DC 11. That would match and succeed on this roll. That would only leave me with one adversity toe. Mm. I'm mm. out of adversity at this point, so I cannot. That leaves me with one there. adversity. It's up to you guys. I, I am, I am just, I'm a. Your you wins. know what? I haven't used my abilities this whole time. I do want to see what I would have rolled, though. Okay. I would have failed, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with one adversity point from Desi, one adversity point from Astria. Astria, how are you helping? I think that she is just like amping her up like a girl in the bathroom at the bar would just like <laughs> yeah you know where we're going obviously you you have been like the champion at knowing where we're going this entire time you helped us find so many things in this world you're so good like absolutely like she's just gonna be just like at every step hype, anytime desi seems yeah she, i'm just gonna hype girl her the whole way okay, okay. Whew, all right that's right i am smarter than people think I am. I got this. I know where we're going. That's right. Okay. So then let's let you succeeded. Desi, why don't you take over the narrative? Tell me, like, where are you going? Where are you coming out of this factory? You're not coming in from the side entrance that you came in before. No. So I think 
does these like kind of licking her finger and kind of like knocking on walls and being like, hmm, trying to see if there's any footprints. And she feels like a little gust, like a little bit of wind, like brushing in the back of her hair. And she's like, hmm. And she's, she's going to not tell anyone. She's going to wander. And she's going to, um, there's a little like emergency exit door. That's like a little bit propped open on like a broken bottle from like when the teenagers were drinking beer in here. Oh. And, uh, it goes out to a loading dock around the side of the building. How interesting yes you do find yourselves exiting the ice cream factory you you walk down these hallways and you pass all these different graffiti marks and desi uh seems to almost be just kind of floating down the hallway but with intention and sure enough um after one more turn you see the very sliver of this light um from around this exit door and you push it open and you find yourselves out behind the factory at the loading dock. And you see parked there is the ice cream truck. Um, And as uh, 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 Zeke's uh, Mark follows you, Mark the robot follows you out uh, into the sunlight, um, as uh, you both, you all exit, you hear from the inside that ice cream truck, that tune begins to didn't didn't slowly wind up and you see stepping out from beside it is mr smile and he says now children children adventurous children can be a joy but if they get too curious they can be quite a burden i would think what do we have here, kids? Who have you brought me now? Um, and I... the robot kind of rolls to a halt. Can I use my special robot action? Uh, you... Fire bur- <laughs> Yes. Bursts of energy raise from their hands. I think Mark just like sees the ice cream man and like lifts up a, a hand and just like Iron Man shoots him square in the chest. Okay, so yes. So um, as uh, Mark rolls out into the sunlight and, and Mr. Smile steps behind the truck, uh, you see these kind of like, wait, wait, my, wait, the automated, def- automated defense system is activating. Um, what, what is, I can't, wait, do we have it? We detected a threat and with uh, just like a sudden floor, like fluid movement, um, the robot's hand palm comes up and turns and you just see, yeah, this energy build and just shoots straight at Mr. Smile. So why don't you make me a fight check? Um, um, and we're going to be using my stuff. You're actually going to be using a 2d4 is what uh, the system is what the system uses for your powered character um, skill checks, a 2d4. And you are trying to beat a... We are going to say you're going to try to beat a five. Okay, come on. Uh, That is a five. That is a five. So the laser beam strikes Mr. Smile square in the chest. Um, are, Do you want to describe, does anything particular happen when this energy, fired beam of energy hits Mr. Smile? I think and it doesn't just stop in his stomach. It goes like extends past him. Like it's kind of phasing through him a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Well, it definitely does because it actually goes straight through the ice cream truck behind him um, and burns a huge hole through. And Mr. Smile screams and then, ah, as he falls back, you know, and this beam of energy just blasts straight through the truck. And his entire form seems to kind of like, almost like an old TV, like, you know, it kind of like statics out for a minute um, before it stabilizes. And you see that there's no direct wound on him, but he's clearly shaken. Um, Run, 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 run. uh, As uh, uh, this beam goes through him and the truck. And even as he kind of stumbles backwards uh, and is like, you know, collecting him, he's he's not solidified yet. Even as he's trying to solidify, you see that actually the ice cream truck begins to kind of like, like almost like glitch out, like 
the Matrix or the Spider-Verse. Like, things start to change, and it actually seems to be, like, repairing itself. Like, you see slight images flicker across it as the ice creamer truck uh, begins to restore itself to its other, its pre, its original state. I am taking off. Yeah. Running yeah. away from the ice cream truck. Um, okay. Can the Mark keep up with us if we're running, or is he small enough for us to carry, or how does that work? Um, it, He is able to, like, oh, okay, all right, Um, uh, we're activating a, 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 a speed mode, and you see, like, those treads, like, zzz, begin to rev up, and, okay. like, yeah, he's, like, zzz, like peels out. As he's yeah. uh, following Ava. Also running, then. Also running. All right. Uh, you guys are that running. This would be a really good time for direction on those energy sources. I, I still uh, haven't nailed them down. I see they all seem to be, they seem to be uh, in eastern, uh, eastern direction, approximately 252. Okay. Two, and um, you notice that he's kind of indicating back towards town. Okay. Is it weird that Desi doesn't want to run? Desi wants to get one more hit on this guy. <laughs> Ava's out. So De- yeah. oh. Desi has used, you have used your your one, your current uh, uh, psychic ability point. So what, is Desi going to just run up and try to punch him? Or what's going to happen here? Um, I think Desi's going to take out an ice skate and... Oh, I imagine this Ohlone dock is a little bit higher than the ground. Mm-hmm. So I think she's going to take out her ice skate, the one that's not broken, and kind of do jump up and kind of slam down on him with the ice skate. Okay. And All then right. run off if I succeed. Make me a fight check. And this is going to fight. be... He is flickering check. in and out of existence, kind of, almost. Um so we're going to say okay. that this is going to be a DC, we're going to say this is going to be a DC 13. Okay, this is my D12, so I have to explode. All right. I mean, oh my gosh, we got to explode. That was a That's 12. That's a 12. Yes. Okay. And we're going to explode. Yes. Okay, come on, come on, come on, big money, big money. So that's a total of 17. A 17. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, real quick, let me go back. I wanted to look at the attacking table. So a uh, 17. Is five or high? Uh, uh, it's one yeah, to five th- or higher. Okay, so uh, wait. So I, I said the DC was a 13. You rolled a yep, 17. Right. So you're four higher, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that means the attacker explains their attack and the defender explains how they respond. The def- attacker explains how this barely mitigates the harm. Okay, so go ahead. So you're jumping up onto this loading dock mm-hmm. and trying to slash him with your skate? Yeah, so uh, Desi's going to do kind of like a running jump and get some air and and she knows she's she, she does jumps and spins so she can really control where she lands and mm-hmm. she's really good at it. And she lands kind of like right on his chest and then the the ice skate's going right on his face and kind of breaking his nose or trying to break his nose. Yeah. Okay. So we're actually going to say as you jump onto his chest, like I said, he's sort of like staticking in and out of, of existence. His form is not fully solidified, but you time this jump perfectly and come down with the skate um, but you see that one of his hands has come up and the skate has gone straight through <clears throat> the palm of his hand um, as he's gripping this um, a- as you are kind of face to face. And you see as he... <laughs> Desi, you are number six. You cannot change that you are number six. Six, number five is coming, Desi. Desi. And um, <clears throat> you see your skate is uh, uh, sort of lodged in uh, his his hand at this point. He is gripping the skate now. Uh, Desi's going to drop the skate and run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you all run. You all run away uh, back over to your bikes, I assume. Yep. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Great. Why don't we, you guys all jump on your bikes and uh, begin pedaling as Desi comes back around the corner. 
um, uh, as well. Uh, Athletic Desi is able to to catch up relatively easily um, as the Mark robot is uh, speeding beside you. And you hear behind you the warped sound of this ice cream truck um, begin to grow louder. I would like all of you to make me a flight check. And you are Ooh. trying to beat a nine. At least oh, most I at least most of you are trying to beat a nine. Okay. This is my I have flight to is my D twelve. Flight is my D six, so I again need to explode. I'm again asking huh. you to explode. Exactly. That was a six. Exactly. Got a four. I got a six. We have nice. a six. Does it make a difference that. if that's one of the stats that I get the one on? Does that help? Wait, if you got the one on? Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, you yeah. just add it to it, so I actually yeah. have five. Okay, okay. Uh, so I have a ten. That was a six and a four for a total of ten. Nice. So we have two tens and a, Emily, what did you say you have? And a five. Five. Okay, so Emily, you begin to, to you are pedaling as hard as you've ever pedaled. Um, but unfortunately, Mathlete doesn't always translate super well to bicycle riding. Um, what are the rest, the other two, how do you, you see, I should say, you see behind you, this ice cream truck pull into the street, this dirt road that leads uh, from the ice cream factory to the old highway begin to follow you. And it's it begins to get closer and closer to Ava as she is uh, slowly starting to lag behind. Um, can I mm -hmm. take out my jar of dirt? <laughs> One of my yes. three jars of dirt. Yes. <laughs> and what are you going to do with that jar of dirt? Who's inside it? No, this is just an empty jar of dirt. Oh, this okay. is just a dirt. There's no worms in this one. Oh, all right. It's one of my ones I notated that doesn't have worms. Okay. And I'm going to try to huck it at the windshield of the ice cream truck. Do it. Yeah. I have an idea. In the so attempt yeah, that, that the dirt, the jar is going to break and dirt is just going to scatter all over the mm -hmm. front of the windshield. Oh. And he won't be, he'll have like a moment where you won't see. A hundred like four percent. Off, maybe. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Asteria, uh, is there anything in particular you want to go? Or are you okay with this narrative? It's like a holding action situation. <laughs> for me okay because the what i want to do i would have to be much closer to him so like if he well, got out of the vehicle you guys came after us. you guys succeeded at this role you have you have managed what? to outrun mr smiles ice cream truck the question is just okay. how is that happening and i can absolutely accept that a dirt a jar of dirt slams onto the windshield scattering earth this way and that and um the truck uh, veers off the side of the road into one of the ditches beside, but nobody gets out. It just sits okay. there as you ride away. Then, yeah, I would just keep riding. Then I think, okay. and I'll, I'll yeah. just keep emotional my support plan in my back pocket. Yeah. Emotional yeah. support. Yes. Okay. Now I only have two jars of dirt, one with worms. You lost an ice skate and a jar of dirt, but they were both cool. The way you did it. Thank you. Okay. So, the no, tune of the going. ice cream truck Shit. fades, and you guys are on the road riding back into town. Where would you like to go? Um, I will, um, I'm sorry. Let me also, I will say, we're getting close to a dinner time at this point. We're getting later on in the, in the afternoon. Well, I don't hmm. think we can... Uh go back to our houses i think um that would pop potentially lead a um, ice cream man to our families and uh maybe they'll be in danger no it, uh, yeah i would i would rather not uh, worst case scenario i say we you know when we're getting to town find a payphone and we'll do the whole trifecta i'm meeting at so-and-so's house i'm meeting at so-and-so's house so that mm -hmm. nobody's worried about us mm. um could i possibly try to use my ability which is to see a confusing glimpse into the future? Oh, of course you can. 
I you want to know absolutely like, yeah. can do that you can use your ability um i i should have clarified because i realized the audience doesn't know every all, the audience doesn't know all three of our players have a different ability from our powered character which in this case is mark you've seen desi which is the ability to shoot energy beams um and now we are going to get into the second which is the ability to get a confusing glimpse of the future um yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes, you can. Is there anything in particular? I'll tell you kind of, I'll help you uh, narratively how this happens, but is there anything in particular you're trying to look for or just like the immediate future searching for danger? I think I'm like, I really want to try and figure out either where these like things that we are trying to look for are mm. or potentially who or where or what the fifth kid is. And if that's something we need to be yeah. <laughs> on the lookout for. Perfect. Okay. You, um, <clears throat> you see, uh, I'm sorry, this shouldn't be you. As you guys are riding, Mark, uh, you hear Zachary's voice from Mark. Um, he says, okay, okay I, I'm locking on, I, I'm getting stronger traces of the signals here around town. And I'm, I'm trying to, hold on, I'm trying to see if I can, I decode the uh, interdimensional uh, uh, energy traces and see if this should work. And um, you see, uh, uh, you guys, we'll, we'll say, let's let's do it. We'll do it easily. You guys have outrun Mr. Smile. You guys stop for a second um, just to catch your breath. Um, and as Mark uh, is doing this, his chest kind of uh, opens up a little bit. And like one of those little cameras, like R2-D2 style comes out and does a projection um, and you see for a second it plays like you see um, you guys, it's it's all three of you guys in the store behind the couch talking, um, you know, you see Desi touching the mongoose um, or the muskrat. You see you see Desi touching the muskrat, um, you know, ho hold on. OK, I'm just trying to get the frequency. And it's like you see him like kind of zooming through different moments that have happened already. Um, and okay. then he's like, I can just, if I can decode uh, the signals in this universe are so, are so, there's so much interference. And um, you see that it gets to um, where you guys just were running, uh, riding your bikes. And then it goes forward a little bit. And you see Desi, you see your mother um, um, at the door going, Desi Lincoln, where is he? You said he I thought he was with you all day. Desi Lincoln, Desi, you need to tell me. You need to tell me where he is. This isn't funny. So uh, you want to know something funny? I wrote this down before we started the session because I wanted to call the shot. And I said the fifth kid is Drew. Stop it. <laughs> I can't confirm or deny. I won't confirm oh or deny. I wanted to call my shot. Oh I won't confirm gosh. or deny, but you see your mother talking to you at the front door, and she seems very frightened and, and upset and confused and worried. Oh, no. So maybe we shouldn't call your house. Or this should. Is the future. We may need to go there anyways. What time of night? Could I see what time of day? what the sky looked like mm, in this uh yes a uh, uh, kind of you can kind of make out that it looks like it's the early evening not too long from now maybe I, i'm sorry i'm trying to narrow down to see the course of action sometimes finding out what we actually do is the best way to plot our thing forward but the, the interference from this dimension is just too much i can't get a clear picture think one we need to we need we need to get to drew but i don't know if we can we 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 we, we can save him on his own um um do we go back to miss miss oatsberger and kind of tell her hey like we know the jig is up we know these kids are going missing we know that you're investigating it we know who's doing it and we need your help with the um the the action committee that y'all have like bringing in some adults right now might be a good um plan because in this world we are only 10 and 12 and yeah and so i could really use a gun i mean i don't think anyone's gonna give a 12 year old a gun but you give me a gun i know how to shoot i know how to shoot him it is 1975 after all yeah. okay yeah let's go back let's go find her and um 
just lay it out on the table. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then we'll go. We'll go talk to your mom. Maybe she can come talk to your mom with us. <gasps> yeah, because now he's Adults missing, so we that. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a great plan. Okay, okay. Let's go talk to your mom and say we need go, her to go, tell go, Mrs. Oatsberger, and then and then we'll explain everything to Mrs. Oatsberger. All right. So you're going back to Mrs. Oatsberger's house. Going to Desi's. Desi's. Grab Desi's mom. Oh, first. you're going to Desi's yeah. house first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Go to Desi's house her first. To Oatsberger. Yep. So that she can say, hey, my child is missing. And we can explain. We found the children. They're here. This is the deal. Mm-hmm. Please believe us. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So. Y'all And also this is our robot. <laughs> Don't ask where we got the um, robot. <laughs> y'all ride your bikes. Okay, go ahead. Mark, okay. maybe stay a little bit behind. We don't want to disrupt the timeline any more than we already have. Anyone have a disguise kit? Can we put like a hat or a wig on Mark? <laughs> I think you, we just say that it's do you something have a hat or like, wig? like a maybe Ava can convince her that it was like a school pet thing from her fancy yeah. school. Yeah. Ava's okay. science summer project. science project. Asteria, yeah. do you have any like beauty pageant stuff? I mean, I do. And she whips I've got like makeup bag, I've got like <laughs> hair falls, I've got hairspray, I've got all sorts of things she starts pulling out. But is it gonna be more or less convincing to dress it up if we wanna tell her it's just Ava's project? You tell me. You tell me what you you tell me what you'd like to do. Rather like hold on idea. to my materials. Yeah. Okay. Maybe just a like suggestion. It. I just wanted to see a, a robot no, I respect in a trench coat. It. I respect it. I mean, we can. I was really imagining ET for a moment. They put ET in a fucking yeah, hoodie, too. and yeah, everybody believes that he's a, a child. Perfect. Um, okay. All right. So we're gonna go to Desi's house. So y'all pedal your ways on over there um mark uh robot is more or less zachary's side a little bit quiet clearly um focused on something you assume some sort of he's entering some sort of uh calculations um and so before long you find yourselves back on your little cul-de-sac and back in front of desi's home I run inside and I'm like, Mama, Drew, Cheeseburger Jr., Mama, Drew. Um, so yeah, you you throw open the door and immediately Cheeseburger is <laughs> just right there at your ankles, already like jumped up and is literally like hanging on to like one of your like a part of your pants and is just tearing like a big hole like right near the butt of your pants, um, just latched on, um. And uh, you hear from the kitchen. De- is that you, Desi? Desi, Mama, dinner, dinner's going to be up just a minute. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Your brother is upstairs. Can you bring your brother down? Uh, dinner's going to be ready in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, well, can you take everything off the heat? We got. We, can, we need to go. And I'm going to run upstairs to okay. his room and not even explain. All right, yeah. You run upstairs and throw open the door. It's like, um, And he's there with some um like he's got like a little model kit that he's totally what? he is not building at all to the to the instructions it's like a little model like world war one plane and he's like it's now he's creating some sort of like modern art piece that's oh so hey cool Debbie. uh that's you're cool. supposed to knock when mom says you're th- you have to knock when you want to come into my room uh, Desi's just gonna hug him and squeeze him tight, oh. and also like pick him up and take him downstairs. Uh, make me a make me a bronze check, I guess. Okay, I think that's my. He'll make a. I, he's gonna roll something against. How old him. is he? Uh, Bron is my D ten. He's younger than you, probably eight. He's squirrely. Yeah. Oh, way overpower him. Okay, what did you roll? A seven. That's unfortunate because he rolled a natural twenty on my die here. Ooh, he's, yeah, a Ron, he's a kicker. He's he's he he <laughs> he is well he is well adapted to this household. Wait, and a D20 as explodes, I I you're right. Okay, great. Well, that's a fourteen, so that's a thirty-four. Oh my I God. 
I figure this is his flight check, and he's probably pretty flighty at this age. Yeah, so he is. he yeah, is naturally reaction. adapted to this sort of thing. Not having no idea what the context is, he doesn't need it. He has older sister. So he, you grab him around and squeeze him into a hug and turn uh, to the top of the stairs, and he's already, like, slid out of his shirt, and he is, like, shirtless now. Um, like running down the stairs. Mom, Debbie's bo- Debbie came to my room. She's bothering me. Oh my God. Andrew, Gregory, Lincoln, you better get back here and we need to get in the car and we need to go right now. Tell mama, De- tell mama. Desi, what, what are you, honey, what are you talking about? And oh, oh, hello, Ava. Be- hello, Asteria. How are you, are you, are you coming over Lincoln, for mama? dinner? Mama, you need to listen to me. Okay. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. People- what is this? Some sort of. Did, did you go? Did you go down to that new toy store down in uh, Main Street? That are Mama, they? They're selling the... toys. There. What is this? What is this thing here? Mama, Mama, we need to go now. I need you and Drew to get in the car, and I need you okay, to take well, us to the house. Okay, well, honey, I can't. House. I have a meatloaf in the oven that I am just about to well, take, take out. Take the we meatloaf cannot... out of the oven, Mama, 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 Mama. This is the Desi, most important Desi. thing. Desi. Yes, Desi, honey, I have got the meatloaf. It's coming out. You just need to, if you go wash your hands, we can go ahead and eat. Now, are your we friends staying or not? We time for the meatloaf. Everybody has time for We're meatloaf. We're not staying Desi. here. I need you and Drew to go with me. Okay, hold on one second. Little lady, you are definitely staying here. I told you you had to be back for dinner time, and I have I've, I have been working on this meatloaf. It is your favorite, and you are going to sit down and eat Mama. with us. Mama, now, Mama, this is important. Weekend. Miss Lincoln, with all due respect, and I do apologize, I don't ever try to get between a mother and daughter, but this is kind of an emergency. Um, it has to do with, well, um, uh, my period. Kid. This is a period emergency. Yes. Oh, Desdemona yes. Lincoln, I told you, you were not supposed to bring that up. You were not supposed to. Yeah, that is a discussion for inside the household, little lady. So now. Uh, we c- okay, well, honey, we can have this discussion, but I think maybe your no, friends, no, no, unless your friends now. check with their parents, I think I think it's best if you all went home. Um, but oh, you know, we c- we already called our our folks, and they know that we are having dinner with y'all. But we have to okay, go. Okay, well, Desi, I would appreciate. We have to go to Siemens Oatsburger because she said that if I ever she's already anything... walking back into the kitchen. Like, all right, well, I made Mama. enough for everyone, but you, I, Des, I would appreciate a little heads up if you're going to bring your friends around for dinner time. All right, I told you, uh, you at least have to ask. You have to ask he, me. Desi realizing that this is going to do. She's not going to convince her mother at this. That point. a twelve year old child running in and saying we have to leave, we have to leave is probably not something that I'm uh, having a period yeah. of emergency. We need uh-huh. to go. Yeah, honey. Now you know where the things are upstairs in my bathroom under the under the sink. You go now. You go on up. Your friends can come and wash up for dinner time. All right. I'm where sorry, Mama, and I'm gonna grab Drew and GTFO. Okay. Yeah. Drew, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use wipe I'm, the car keys. I'm going to. Okay, we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause one second. <laughs> Because we're gonna say we already we already did the the role with Drew, so I'm gonna say because of that action, your that action is like Drew okay, is whether happen. you're trying to corner him or not, you are just like he is. No, Desi, leave me alone! Gosh, Mom, you're being so annoying. Um, you are chasing him around hey, the couch hey, now. Hey, Drew, Drew, you go with me. I'll give you twenty bucks. Now you, I know you don't have twenty bucks. Don't lie to me. I will have twenty bucks, and you will have it as soon as I acquire when? the twenty bucks. Oh yeah, you'll have twenty bucks when you're like. 50 yeah and it's yours i'm not waiting I, i'm not i'm not I, you're okay. you're always pulling tricks I will on me do all your chores for a month um for what to what go with you i go where where are we going we're going to miss oathsburger's house who is who is what who is myth oathsburger yeah. it's it's better if you just come along and i will do all your okay chores. i'm not falling for this one i will Walk I, cheeseburger for a month. I'm not falling for this again, okay? I'm not falling last time. Pinky you swear. told me to come out Pinky back. Swear. And then you just had your worm circus, and I said I didn't want to see any more of your worm circus, okay? Hey, Drew. This is not the worm circus. Um, quick question. Uh, you haven't seen a uh, an ice cream man around today, have you? Ice cream? What? Ice cream man? Oh, wait, is there ice cream? Ma- Mom, Debbie got ice cream! Oh, Hunt, Desi, I mean, you better have... Des, Desmona Lincoln, you better not have spoiled your dinner. Um, Miss Lincoln, have you seen an ice cream man around? Ice cream man? Uh, uh, ice cream? I thought... A, there there ain't... was an old man who approached the three of us and 
and he said he had ice cream for us and he really wanted us to eat his She's ice cream already like back in and she's like and you did what I told you Desdemona you said you don't talk to strangers isn't that right Yes that is exactly what I did You didn't but take didn't... anything from this stranger did you No I didn't take anything from the stranger but he Desdemona. did Desdemona heavily Desdemona imply... Lincoln did you take anything from the stranger Okay I maybe had a little bit of ice cream and then all, all right. That's it. You're you Ava Asteria. I'm sorry. I think it's best if you go home. I'm going to have to have a couple words with my daughter now. Okay. But he, You're going to come here. Little been lady. Taking all the children. We found out he's been the one taking all the children. And uh, Drew Desimone, I do not, so to get I do not want to hear another word about this. All right. You're not supposed to talk. You're going to tell me all about this strange man. There ain't no ice cream man here in Ericsville. So I don't know what you're speaking of, but oh, you are not supposed you. to take you. All right. Late girls, you're going to have to go home. She's already ushering the other two of you out the door. <laughs> as I am also so much is happening. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, yes, so you, are, you are. You are. Miss Lincoln, I'm so sorry. I I really don't want to go back outside because he was following us for a while, and so that's why we came here. And so we're a little bit scared. And that's what why is it? And then the she's door. okay. She's at the door. Okay. Now tell she's me, what like, did this man look? Vomiting. What did he? What did he look like? Okay. Come. All right. Come. Just come in. Then. Uh, what is this? Uh, can he? Can this wait out on the porch? And she's pointing to the room. No. Robot. Um. Okay, yeah. well, I don't... Those treads are filthy. I do not want that thing in on my carpet. So he's going to wait out on the porch. You other two, come on in here. This toy, whatever this is. All right. Um, and she ushers you in. And before even more protest, she has closed the door. All right. Now, ho hold on. Woman, and she's going into the kitchen. Um, And she has already got the phone off of the wall. And she is ringing. And uh, wait, hold on. Hold on a minute. I want to make sure to get my names right. She calling the police. She calling the parents. She's she says, <clears throat> "Yes, oh, hello there, Claire. I'm so sorry. Uh, can you please come on over? I have yes, I have Ava. He yes, Ava's here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I, listen, I think I think you best on come on over here. Uh, uh they saying there's. I, I don't want to alarm you, but they're saying that um, they they might have met a strange man in town. I just think maybe it'd be best if you came over and picked up your daughter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Um, then she hangs up, and she's already started to dial another number. Is it Miss Oatsberger? Can you please call Miss Oatsberger before you Desi before you call? Desi, uh, Desi Mama. I'm on the phone. Please. Yes, Almanique. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hi there. Um, this yeah. is. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> she, Sorry, she... I was going to say. She's, I'm whispering to Desi. Where are your parents' car keys? And there's a probably a bowl by the front door where I imagine they put their house keys. That's where we put them in my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over spring break, my older brother taught me how to drive. I am fully prepared to get us across town, but we have got to move. Quickly. So he's kind of like nodding over to the key bowl by okay. the front door. So. Follow my lead. <laughs> you don't have to call my mama. I, okay, I, she is already on. No, no, she's already on the phone. Like, oh, Monique, yes. Almanique, hello. Uh, yes, uh -huh. this is um, this is uh, Miss. Uh, Would Lincoln. like to use my power now, oh. which is to oh. telepathically use technology and cut the line. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! All right. So the third power is being used. Uh, the control, the telepathic control of technology. You're trying to cut the phone line. Yes. So I am. Sneaking, like opening the door and be like, "Hey, Mark, um, can you disrupt the energy here for a minute? Thanks." Uh, I, uh, of course, I can disrupt the energy. I, I then mean, do it. Uh, uh, all right. Now? Um. Okay. Roll me a two d four. Uh, we're gonna say that to. I mean, to cut the phone line, we're gonna say that's like a, that's a that's a four. That's a four. Uh, so that was a five and a six. So we're at eleven so okay. far. Fourteen. All right. Nice. 100% phone line and yes Almanique I just think um I just I have uh, your I have your daughter here and she's like, hello yeah hello hello oh, gosh darn these things and she's like hitting the little like receiver the little uh uh on the phone start slowly making my way over to the bowl and just up in the little keys as we head out we're just gonna head home Mrs. Lincoln, we now we hold on a minute. Hold on, don't you know, don't you let girls go anywhere. Hold on now, I, just start this darn thing. Um, and you open the door, oh. 
and you see coming across the street is Claire and Dan Sparrow. And uh, as she sees it, she says, "We uh, going, honey, we going, Ava? honey, Ava, Ava, darling, what is going on? What? Is, how, it, you, guys go, you guys go get in the car. I'll talk to my parents. Okay, come on. Hi, mom. Yeah, Desi is gonna <laughs> and get in the car. It, and the with the robot. Okay, let's. The car is okay. Hold on a minute, Desi. Roll me a twenty sided dice. If you get an eleven or higher." The car is in the garage. If you get below a, a ten or lower, the car is parked on the on, in the driveway. I want low. Mm-hmm. I think I want low here. You want whatever you want. Yeah, I definitely want low. Uh, that's a three. Yeah. Okay, so you win low. Okay. <laughs> Good. So the car is you know in low. the driveway. It backed into the driveway in full in full view of Claire and Dan. Um, who are currently more busy with Ava. What is Mark doing? Also getting in the car? Uh, I imagine I'm going to just get... I imagine it's like a station wagon with like the wood paneling a hundred per, on the hundred percent this is a station wagon. It's got the seats, the rear seats that face backwards, yeah. make you nauseous so as hell. Yep. I love the rear seats. We call them the backpack seats, and I, me and my brother would fight over who sat in the backpack. Oh, just d- oh. vomit city. That's all that was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um... I'm going to, you know, get Mark into the back back seats and strap him in. Okay. As Suri is going to do her best impersonation of a 16-year-old or what she thinks a 16-year-old is like and just be like... <laughs> roll yeah, me a roll I, me a bronze I'm, check. A bronze check to see if you can a help. A bronze? I, I'm sorry. No, or no. This is for Desi, Desi. to see if you oh, can okay. get this <laughs> large clunky robot, which is definitely not designed to get into a station wagon. All right, my my bronze a D ten. That's okay. And this something. is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a. Frick. We're gonna say we're gonna say it's a ten. Okay. Oh, I gotta explode. Okay. That was a natural one. Ooh. You are you are struggling. This thing is like, and and Z- Zach is kind of he is like it's on autopilot almost right now. He is like obviously not in full control um okay so it's just like you're awkwardly like trying to you are just trying to get this thing in the back of the station wagon plan b um that's not happening i have a jump rope i'm gonna try and tie zach or or mark to the back of the car so it's like he's like water skiing for the back of the car here for it here for it sure yep Uh uh-huh done Okay. You tied him, he's tied to the back of the station wagon. He can probably go as fast. I just want to add from earlier, you saw he probably could go as fast as the station wagon, but you guys do what you need to do. Okay. I'm sorry. Astria, what are you doing? Um, Just trying to act like I'm much older than I am to not make a, her parents. So I figure because we don't you're want running, to You're running or... interference in front of this. Just like, ha Yeah. Oh I'm just God. like, you know, trying to be cool, trying to act. Yeah. yeah like, okay. I have, I have a license. Obviously. Make, <laughs> make me a charm check just for the heck I'm, of it. I'm, there's, there's no set DC here. I just want to see how good your distraction is ro- working. It's one of my plus one ones. So let's keep mm. a happy thought here. That would be 14. Okay. Yeah, they, they're, okay, so, um, uh, Ava, what, so Ava, what is happening? Why, why am I getting calls from Marianne? I, uh, Mar- Mary Alice, what am, why am I getting calls from Mary? What is going on? Um, we were, we were really worried. There was a strange man around town. She might have more information. You should probably go in a and A strange man, and I'm... you didn't, and you did what I taught you, right? You didn't, you didn't talk to him? Did no, you just well, walk away? Not to. He did you go us, and Dad. fetch an adult immediately? That's why we're here. Okay, we're, That's why we're, we came to Desi's house first, and then her mom called you guys. So I really think you should go in and talk to her about this because I'm a little bit freaked out. All right, well, why don't you come on, you girls, come on inside, explain this whole thing to 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 me. We're we're gonna see what's yeah, come on inside, honey. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about this strange man. These are different guys. times. Yeah. So come on, I and think they. She wanted to talk to you guys first, and then we'll come in and we'll explain the whole story. Yeah. They just okay. Um, to, they're yeah. they're definitely gonna like try to usher you into this house with uh, them. Mama. Mama said I need to unload the car before uh yeah, what Ava, we really were dinner. Need your help with what, this. Uh, yeah. what is what exact what are you what are, what are you oh, doing over here? What is this? 
project got dropped off from work or from school. Um, so they're helping me, and we're taking it. You're tying it to the back of this. Uh, okay, uh, girls, yeah, you you all need girls. You need to come inside. We need to we need to have a discussion run. about what's going on here. Time to go. Time to jet. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Let's we will be inside in a moment. We just gotta um, cover it up so it doesn't get rained on. Mm-hmm. Okay, they are. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to like. <laughs> I'm trying to visualize this. I'm <laughs> I, as a not parent, but they're like. I mean, we what? did come on. That you my need to come. We're kind of apathetic to maybe not apathetic, but they're <laughs> a little bit like. Yeah, yeah. I didn't okay. want to make it too on the nose, on. but your parents are definitely a little distracted um mm-hmm. but they're here now they've been called over by the neighboring mother and they are like ava ava sparrow you're going to come with us right now into this house um we are going to sit down and we are going to discuss we are you're going to tell us exactly what happened i think desi is going to make eyes uh try to do the eye contact thing with all of them and be like nodding to the car and being like, yeah Astoria is going to try and pull a move for Ava's benefit where she's going to be like, you know what? No, you you've never shown up for Ava when she needs to and just go like full teenager and be like, you never show up where Ava when she actually needs your help. So, no, now now you got a parent calling you and you decide to. But, uh, no, we're not listening to you. Ava, come on. And starts getting Desi's, in the car. And like, come on. Come yeah, on. Desi's, Desi's in the car already. Okay. And sprints <laughs> for the car. Okay. Like if they're in the car, just, she is just trying hoping to leave her parents this, a little bit. More than anything what, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say with what you just said, that is so insane that they are probably caught completely off guard. They are are frozen. Good. But That's perfect. <laughs> that means I need you to roll me. <laughs> um I want you to roll me a fight check. To see if you can drive, I will give you a plus. I will give you a plus one because you said that your dad let you pull out of the driveway last summer. If you, if you yeah. need it, I can also help you. I have one more. Okay. Oh, I have two. If you I have, have manuals in the front, adversity so points. points. I have. There are manuals, I'm sure, in in the glove box. But you, this is a under pressure. This is we are acting under pressure now. In fact, let me go ahead. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me even. I want to make sure because this is the most under pressure roll and under pressure. This is the most under pressure check you could possibly have. Um, which means a snap decision. I'm sorry. This is the most snap decision. You cannot take half the value of the pro. Okay, so yeah, you normally could take the uh, you could you may spend adversity to help yourself. Other players cannot spend adversity tokens to help you. There is no time for that kind of planning. Um, I should make the consequences for failing a snap decision less weighty than failing a planned action. Okay, okay. but I could add an adversity token to this, just like you. A flat, like one, you plus can one. add you can add an adversity token to this. Um, okay. I don't think you have any abilities that would directly relate to this action. Mm-mm. You are a 12-year-old child. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to say to drive a car. I'm going to say this is a this is a 16. You're trying to drive a car. You are a 12-year-old okay. child trying to get your friends into a car that is pulling a robot and while there are two parents not but not but 20 feet away and you did say fight <laughs> just to this clarify. is a fight. fight i will let you i'll let you choose i will let you choose either a fight check or a brains check it is a fight check okay, okay cool good to know good to know. <laughs> what's, oh what's no. your fight and i give you a plus fight is a, it's a d10 but I get. It's I'm gonna not add impossible. Ad- you need. I'm gonna add an adversity, so okay. that would be one. Ex- and then he gave me plus one. Let's I'm get at least a five. And let's let's yeah. clear. Let's clear. Clarify here though too. You you get a plus one. I'm giving you a plus one. Your dice can't explode unless you roll the highest number. The, the a- yeah. additional numbers don't count. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. So you have to. I'd have to roll a ten for it to explode. Yeah. You need to mm-hmm. explode and then get a four. And we we got this. We can do. It. I believe in you. I'm gonna let the magic happen. Let's see what let's see what happens. Oh, I'm so nervous. 
Two plus two makes All right. four. Oh no. So we just totaled my parents' station wagon. We're gonna say if we oh, got it out God. of the driveway. <laughs> what yeah, what was it you say? Uh I rolled a two plus two because you gave me one and I was gonna use one of my adversity tokens. So four. Four in total. So <laughs> that's and I said sixteen. So that's yeah, twelve. That's what you said. <laughs> Which means the failure is profound. There will be consequences for this failure. Uh, okay. They never taught so, me stick. They didn't teach me stick. You managed to get oh the keys stick. into the ignition. You managed to start the engine. But something a little awkward happens when you're trying to put it in drive. And the car slams into the garage door mm-hmm. in quite a profound manner. <laughs> and you are sitting there. The car was not backed in. The car was parked forward in the driveway. So you are sitting there with the remains of the garage door bent around the front of this car. Mm-hmm. As as you are forcibly for a child of 12, as you are pulled from the driver's seat. And suddenly there are two parents and then there's a third parent as Desi's mother comes out and you see all Monique coming across the street because she did get on the phone for a hot minute. Okay. Well, I disassociated clearly. <laughs> what what happened, friends? I think the evil ice cream man drugged our ice cream and I this is so what is too. happening. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we call the police and get them to arrest this evil ice cream man who's trying to drug children? Okay. Disney, Definitely where's your it. little brother? We are yeah, going we're, we're through. We're going to hold on, we're gonna slow down for a minute. We're going to do a little bit of a montage sort of situation. Because parents are screaming. Everybody's upset. Nobody knows what's happening. You keep so getting sorry, told man. there is no ice cream man in Eric's. There's never been an ice cream man. In, what are you talking about? And why, why would you think you could drive? Why would you? What are you doing? You think, oh my goodness, Asteria, what are you doing? You are going. Oh, I stared up as you, Clark. You are going to be grounded for the, and you are all being pulled apart. Um, as you are being separated into your parental units. Um, and this hysteria goes on for a few minutes. Um, cheeseburger is out there just barking, running around in a circle. Um, everything is going insane and as you are being uh dragged back into your house desi um uh your mother is in tears just like i don't know what's going i don't know what's going what has come over you girl why would you do something like this that you know how much it's gonna cost you we're gonna be grounded for for years for this and um you are getting inside your house um the other two have been taken to their homes and Drew, come on, Drew, come on down here. So, Drew, Drew, come here, honey. Oh, Desi, where is your brother, Desi? Where is your brother? Where did he? What What did you do with your brother, Des, I didn't do Desi? Desi, where is? Evil ice cream man. I told and you this was gonna happen, and you didn't listen she, to me. You see that this vision you had is playing out exactly like you saw one to the t she is what where is where is your brother you you were supposed to get your brother and bring him down to dinner what have you been what have you done dude and drew is gone so we're gonna fast forward a little bit we're gonna do some we're, we're already we're we're trying to keep these we're trying to contain the story into three i don't want to necessarily do four <laughs> um but we're gonna fast forward you are all grounded you are all at home. Um, Asteria, you are locked in your room. Um, Ava, you have been shut in your room. Um, Desi, you are uh, you are you're 
evening has been a blur. The police did come eventually, um, but they have not been able to find Drew. Your we mother is in tears. Your father is... They they have... You have been trying to tell any adult anything. Not a single person has listened to a, a word you've said. There is a missing boy now. There's no ice cream man in Ericsville. So whatever you're all, you've been talking about has been forgotten. Is Oatsburger there? Oatsburger has not arrived this time. Shit. So... The night passes, or I will will say we get into the evening. Is there anything in particular you would like to do? Well, no, no. Let me carve out. So um, you get into the evening. It's nighttime now. You're all grounded at home. And suddenly you hear, like, you feel the buzzing vibration on your wrists. And Zachary's voice comes. Um, so I was running calculations, and I come back now, and I see a police cordon around a uh a normal suburban home can you please tell me what you have done this time i i we turn didn't do anyone i go to my computer i swear i turn away for one second and now there appears to be some sort of incident my little brother got kidnapped by the ice cream man and um in the middle of that, maybe uh, Asteria may have uh, run my, my car, my family's car into the garage. And now we're all grounded and no one believes us and everyone thinks we're crazy. And I need to get out of here and find my brother and find these beans so we can get home. What she said. I mean, yeah. <sighs> you just feel the vibrated sigh through this wristband. Okay. Okay. Well, I have narrowed the signals down to general areas i believe so how are we going to it's going to be very difficult to go track these down while you're all ground grounded are have they buried you can i dig can i dig you up can i dig you up somewhere no, it's like no in a room on the universe that you sent us yeah to? do you have no background do you not Listen, do any research i, was, I mean i know i, don't I was research, a little distracted thing. building this device that is going to save your lives mm-hmm. first of all okay so you're welcome okay we i was a little distracted to save our lives if the first one had worked okay the first and i like mark bad. better than you Let's not also forget how much you talked about how oh their technology is so much more like babyish than our and yet that car was very hard to drive. Okay, clearly. well that's not my that's not I I don't include how to drive every mechanical device in every universe in your back. It doesn't matter. Okay, what are we going to do? We need a plan right now on how we're going to get you out of here and go and deal with this situation. Um, Where are the locations? Before at? you screw up this universe any more than you already have. How about you tell us where the locations are, which was the question from the beginning. Okay, well, I, I, I narrowed it down to there. Uh, he's like in, uh, okay, yes, there is a uh, one. Uh, one of the locations seems to be pinging uh, exactly um, uh, uh, t- what twelve hundred and thirty-five feet uh, south southeast. Um, another one seems to be pinging, and he's just listing off these coordinates, GPS coordinates, basically. Would I know? Would I be able to kind of? track hmm. out in my head or go do you have a do you have a map of the town I or the area in your in your room get a map not in my room but i can hmm. sneak out and go grab a map okay. that well if you well, maybe I, won't doing sneak that. Out, I will go out and i will say i'm very sorry i will take this time to study may i borrow the map please um and you see uh uh your your Mother is just in in the bedroom watching TV and is like, you are not to leave your room for the next month, Ava Sparrow. You may get what you need to do your summer, uh, your additional summer homework. Thank you, Mother. And I will go and start. I'll gather maybe more than I need for studying. She's going to start putting together a small adventuring kit and the map. All right. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You're you're able to find a, a regional map. And you can go ahead and make me a brains check. I know your brains is really good, but I'm going to just say it's an eight to see if you can exactly calculate the general areas. 
when can we spend adversity Toby? <laughs> is it before or after the you can roll? spend it ah oh, gosh that's a good question i don't know if there's a specific rule on if you have to spend it before i don't think you i think you can spend it any 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 you- time would I be able to do this as a planned action? Do I still have to roll for a planned? How does okay. that work? If it's a planned action, you can ad- you can take half of your die roll automatically. Oh. You don't need to roll. That's what the planned action lets you do. You don't need to roll anything. You just say, I'm taking half of the die. Planned action gotcha. is good to go. Which I'm assuming already... would be over. We'll just say for the sake of the rules that if you would like... If you if your half of your die roll is above an eight, you mm. can do that. Great, then I will do that because it my brains is a d twenty. Okay, a seven. Wonderful. So, so we will say that, that. Yeah, we'll retcon because you didn't understand the full uh, planned action versus the uh, 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 spur of the moment. So we're gonna say that you go ahead, you track down. You see, there are three points um, that he seems to be indicating. One of them is downtown on Main Street. One of them appears to be over by the high school, or the I'm sorry, the uh, over by the school uh, that you were at earlier, the local school. And the third appears to be north of town. Um, the only thing that's really up there is the fort, Fort Mont Bell. All right, guys. Looks like these are the locations. We've got downtown on Main Street, over by the school, and then I'm assuming Fort Mont Bell. Which one's closest um, to where we are? Probably the school, right? Or downtown. Um, no, I would say downtown is closer. The school's kind of... I don't have, like, a map for you, but we'll say that downtown is, is closest. The other side of downtown is the school, and then up north is where the uh, the fort is. Uh, uh, Not too Ava? far away. Yeah. Uh, I know you know more about math than me, but does it form, like, a triangle... Like, is it a perfect triangle or is it a weird triangle? Putting them together. Um, no, it doesn't seem to be. It's a triangle. If you just if you're just taking those three points. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't uh, seem intentional. It, it's hard. It's hard to indicate if a triangle is intentional or not as far as yeah. the shapes go. Um, but it, it's just a trying, it's just a triangle. There's nothing in the center of that said triangle that might be of import? Maybe like a factory? Uh, no. There is, the factory is actually out, uh, a little bit west of town. Um. Also, yes. this is neither here nor there, nor there, but it looked like the factory was burned down. In the other disasters, there was... I mean, the train derailed, but that probably caused a big fire. And the other one was a house caught on fire. So, there's a lot of fires going on. We should be aware of that. Yeah. Um, um Do I know where my daddy keeps his gun? Oh, my God. I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> we're going to say. No, we're going we're, we're gonna to say. For the sake of making this YouTube appropriate, y- oh, you don't true. you don't I have a gun. a gun. Your dad does not have a gun. Oh, he gave that up. Out. He gave that up when he moved. No, it's okay. We're gonna say yeah. We're gonna say um, for multiple reasons, not only just that, but we're gonna say that your dad actually doesn't have a gun. He's no st- listen. He ain't no stereotype. Mm-hmm. Sure, he may have grown up in the mountains. He may have he may have made a living as a moonshiner when he was younger, but he ain't no stereotype. All right. <clears throat> all right okay. Desi's gonna try to find any sort of like weapon in her room mm. like say uh and scissors or um pointy pencils i guess uh, i'm certainly um, have some unsharpened pencils because it's desi's room <laughs> you sure maybe a couple got... more my start start my ice skates a little bit well, okay. We'll say you have your pair of practice ice. Oh no, you have your performance ice skates. You broke your practice pair. Well, I had one. Yeah, one broke. One is with the guy, so I guess I need my performance. Yeah, pair. these would have to be your. You could take those out if you wanted. Yeah, my so, parents are gonna be so mad at me, but yeah. 
Here's okay. my question. There are three points, and there is three of us, plus Mark. Um, yeah, that's actually four. We... That means there's four of us. Well, I'm not really counting you in the group, so you're... Okay, you're well, I mean, I did cut down like that door. Parasite, okay? I cut that. I did cut down that door earlier. Listen, I'm trying I... to make a plan here. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't have... hard for you to it... cut down that door either. I have it, lots of endurance from my ass skating. I don't mind backing all the way out to uh, the four. If you guys want to go to the ones closer in town and maybe someone gets Mrs. Oatsberger, Miss, Miss Oatsberger along the way. Okay, mm-hmm. hold on. Hold on one second. I'm just, I'm looking at the time. This is going to have to go to a fourth episode. I don't want to try to to wrap this whole, this up for where we are right right now. I don't want to try to wrap it up in five minutes. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to talk about, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to lay out, you guys lay out your plans for me, but Mm -hmm. we're just going to have to push it to another episode. Sorry guys. We're having too much fun being kids We've on bikes. We've had a lot of fun kids with on kids bikes. on bikes. It's a good really? time. It's a really fun system, actually. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's. I guess I'm just, I've just not planned the time out for this very well. But then again, it's also a TTRPG system. I didn't expect you to try to steal a car. I didn't. I'll Listen. be the first to admit it. I didn't expect Listen. you to try to steal a car. I was going to try to steal the ice cream truck. Would be easy, though. I did not expect three 12 year I'm sorry, two 12 year olds and a 10 year old with a robot to try to steal somebody's station wagon. So that's on me. I accept that. I take that onto myself. Um, I do apologize for any hiccups I might have caused by trying so, to steal a car. I was just no, trying to get I us across it. town fast. No, I, it was don't, great. You apo- don't you dare apologize. You raised that, the stakes Maggie. so much. Okay. So, with that in context, if you still want to all split up and try to do a, a, you know, split the party sort of thing, we can work with that on the next episode. But what, right now, we're going to talk about what is the plan? Okay, well, we so... don't know how to bra- destroy these things. Yeah. So maybe we... It's a disruption of the energy. Mark, Zach. Yeah, yes. This... Yeah, what it's Zach piloting Mark. Mark is the ro- it's not a person. You keep talking oh, about Mark God. like he's okay. Mark is just so charismatic and mm-hmm. okay. Well, thank you. I did design him to be very visually appealing. I, I, I that was taken into account. Okay. Well, can you tell me what sort of energy signature this is? Is it like the soul energy? Is it okay. different? Listen, I'll try to break it down for you as as simple as I can. There appears to be some sort of outside energy that is harnessing these uh, spirits, these multidimensional spirits of these uh, four individuals, maybe now Mm -hmm. five individuals. um, And uh, the anchor point for that is was in the factory. Um, The anchors themselves, however, appear to be uh, emanating from these three areas. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but um, in theory, it would be some sort of object or device or machine and that we could then uh, uh, repurpose or bring back to the other site and I should be able to disrupt um, the frequencies fully when I have all of those things in a close proximity to each other. Okay. So I think we don't split up. I think we go do, we do, do. I do think we need Oatsburger. I don't know how to convince Oatsburger. Listen, we just tried convincing four adults that should be the most, the biggest advocates for us, that should have probably freaked out a little bit more when we said, hey, there's a strange man offering us ice cream, and we just got in trouble. Well, it's the 70s. She makes a good point. I think we just book it. I think we just book it to all of these things with Mark, and we try to... to mess up these frequencies or whatever yeah um i mean my biggest issue is that um you know i'm the six so there's a big target on our back and maybe oatsberger could have some of her crew like kind of help with that maybe they can do an assault on the factory while we go and disrupt these that that was what i was thinking and maybe cause like a little bit of a, a, a a distraction from the ice cream man I mean, if we want to talk to Oatsburger, we can, but we kind of need a plan of action before we go in, um, namely an escape plan, so that if she starts calling our parents, it doesn't end up like this again. 
Yeah, um, maybe I'll just, we'd at least try to go to one of these points. Like maybe if there's one on the way to her house, yeah. we yeah. stop her and see can, what it could be, um, and yeah. then we can speak to. Hey, we just came from this thing. Uh, listen, I, your help. I don't want to like step on. I mean, you guys, you know, you you guys clearly have a little dynamic going. Um, I don't want to step on that, but um, I I would like to point out. Um, that you are three 12 year old human children um, currently um, locked in your homes um, so we also should probably figure out how to kind of resolve that issue um, before we think about maybe approaching other unknowing human adults um, in the middle of the night because it is about one it is about midnight right now um, well, uh, I think it's not gonna go in the middle of the night is this I a time was, crunch thing? I, I, was, I think this is a time crunch. Uh, we, I'm just worried that my little brother has his soul sucked out of him at this point in time, and that it's gonna fair. he's gonna come after me. And after he comes after me and sucks my soul out, not only will a, 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 a travesty happen, and probably like myself and my brother be destroyed, um, as long as the other kids. But also, uh, since now he knows that I, my soul is multidimensional, that maybe he's gonna do something bad with that. Heard. What time do the paper boys come out? Four, if we're just kids 4 on bike, if we're just kids on bikes at 4 a.m., we could maybe put on like jackets or something so we have hoods. Nobody will know it necessarily us. Yeah, but Astoria, you're plan. locked up. How are you? How's you gonna get out? You're not the best with oh. the lock pick. No, easy. My windows. I sneak out of the windows all the time. I yeah. I was gonna check my window too <laughs> to see if I could sneak out. Let's do that. Let's do the. Uh, let's go ahead and do these rolls, As- Astoria. Astria, you th- tell me how you think you would escape. Whatever it's going to be, you're going to have a plus to it because 100% this is something that Astria would have planned for. Done. She's done this before. She, I think 100%. That I don't know what she's got, doing out, but she's done this before. I think she's got the type of family, the type of mother who would have had those like the like crosshatch things that you put on the side of the yep. house for like plants to grow up yeah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. and like roses and stuff i think she's got some of those like in her garden and astoria's window is conveniently like just right above that garden on yeah. like the back side of the house so as long as she's really really quiet she can like Ooh. open a window and sort of use that like a ladder okay and I think she's let's, done this before to sneak out and like you know let's have you go roll a f- roll me a flight check you can get plus two to this flight okay. check. And we're going to okay. say that it's an eight. Okay. Sounds good. Plus two. Here we go. Eight. That. Oh, it was caught. Sorry. Ah. Oh, okay. That's the one. So okay. plus two makes a three. Okay. I'm okay. struggling tonight with a roll. <laughs> You're really having a hard time. Hey. But are you adding up those adversity tokens? Yeah, yeah, you could use your adversity. Oh, that's true. That's Wait, true. and also, I'm... and uh, let me also, I mean, make clear, this would be a planned action also if you need to take half of half. the die. I'm not sure if that's going to help rear flight specifically. I did was that. Was eight? Plus two. That actually would be better. Oh, okay. That would be much better. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Because if I took half plus, because it is a 12 for me. So half so that's that would six. be six plus two makes eight. So bingo bongo. Even. All right. So you're going to use that. two adversity yeah. planned action. Yep. You have got this. Or you don't yeah. even need to use the adversity. You have plus two, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. As, 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 Astria, you have snuck out of your house. Went from falling out of the window yeah. to sneaking out of the no, window. No, I, I need to. I need to be. I need to. to, to this. These are planned actions. Where where you guys have been cool. sitting in your rooms for a couple hours. Next up, uh, who's who's next? While we've been uh, sitting in our room for a couple hours, has Mark been doing his rest or whatever he needs to get his charges back? Mark mm-hmm. is fully charged. He was cool. sitting in the sun. He had a little solar panel fold out. Um, he was kind of just left next to the ruins of this car. The cops like walked by and were just like, what the? Fuck? OK, and just everybody was kind of confused. Otherwise, do we get a charge back then? Yeah, everybody's got one more use of their various okay. abilities. Cool. So um, I'm thinking back to the tree house. The big tree with the tree house. And I imagine it's like half built. Like there might be the platform on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe like some boards in the 
base of the tree to kind of definitely form a ladder, but it's not like fully built yet. And I imagine if Desi the bra- there's a branch, it's not quite up to Desi's window, but if she got her if she got a either like a swing or a jump on it, she can she can swing from that tree branch to get to the platform. Okay. All right. Okay, you're going to trapeze your way over there? Mhm. All right. I would I'm hoping it's not a flight check. I I would say I would say it would be a flight check, okay. but I could also accept a fight check. This is a very technical thing that you are doing. Check? I would absolutely allow a fight check. Um, okay. And we'll say this is going to be a 10. Okay. A little bit higher. Uh, you, it is a planned action. Okay, wait. So 12, so half of that would be 6, six. 7, 8, 9. The max I can do is 9. Okay, I got to roll for it. All right, let's do it. Oh, that is a nine exactly plus. Okay. Um, I need a ten. Yes. I'm gonna use, use an adversity to get to ten. Okay. Okay. You successfully trapeze yourself up from this branch onto the onto the uh 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 treehouse platform yeah and you do not fall and break a bone in your body so you have a you have successfully snuck out of your house ava what are you doing ava knows the comings and goings of her parents pretty well Mm -hmm. and in their distracted nature i am sure she knows when they're like sleeping kicks in because like her dad has to get yeah. Is eight hours of rest in, or he just he won't be any good at work, and same mm-hmm. with her mom. And performance and... reviews are coming up, so exactly, yeah. Her mom does the full like yep. eye mask when she's sleeping, so she has like timed it out, and is going to just tiptoe her way. Okay, that's going to be in a f- her socks. She's got hands in like shoes in hand, tiptoeing her way out in her socks. Okay, so that is going to be a flight check. And I will go, I will say, uh-huh. I will say that's a, um, we're going to say that's, we're going to say it's a seven. You don't have a, you don't have, it's going to be, I'm going to make it a little less than S3 is, but you don't get the bonus also. So we're going to say it's a seven to sneak out of your house. <clears throat> okay. Then I think your flight's I, pretty good. So my flight's a D12 and I Six. automatically, I automatically get a plus one to it because it's with the popular kid trope. You get a plus one to your flight. Okay. So I'm going to take the planned action. Everybody's planned actions have worked out. And everybody has managed to sneak out. Now, before, I know I should have done this before. We're going we're gonna to wrap up here in a second. But I, I know um, we have talked about, I will have Ava, you will mark down on your sheet that you have gotten a advent, as you called it, an adventurer's kit. Yes. Has anybody else grabbed anything? Oh, we have ice skates. Astria, okay. have you grabbed anything in particular before you've snuck out? I think Astria would have definitely grabbed. She has like a really fancy letter opener that was given to her by like, oh. you know, oh my. she either won or, you know, yeah. was given to her by somebody fancy. And so she's going to bring that with her. No, this is definitely like, like this is room. definitely your grandmother's yeah. pearl yeah, yeah. handled it's letter opener. Super fancy. Um, it matches the whole hairbrush set. So okay. she's going to bring that with her for sure. And she always has a can of hairspray with her anyway, but she's going to make a point to bring her secret pack of smokes. Yeah, okay. That, I, we her. saw that coming. Okay. Ooh, We're going to yeah, accept yeah. that because we established earlier that Astria does have a secret pack of smokes. She yes. might be sneaking out of the house to smoke her cigarettes. Okay. It is a little dangerous for the worms. So the worms are in their terrarium in my room, but I do bring their jar of dirt. Well, so you it's a sans wormy okay. jar of dirt. So are there worms in it? Because you had some worms that were placed out on your back porch in the corner when you came home. Do you also are you bringing them? No, I'm not bringing worms. It's too dangerous. Okay, just for them. just okay, just the dirt. You're getting yeah. another jar of dirt. So I have another empty oh. jar of dirt without worms. Desi, you've got like your closet has a whole bunch of. 
and this is even I'm not even going to shame this because I think it can be a very cool collection thing. Desi 100 percent is collecting dirt from different areas to yeah. try to raise the worms. A hundred percent. Yeah. OK. Um, what 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 area, what region are you grabbing this dirt from? Like, what was the jar? Or are you just getting uh, an empty jar and filling it up? Or are you grabbing one of your... No, it was uh, we last summer when we went on our, our, our family camping trip to the lake. Yeah. 100%. It's, it's lake, muddy dirt. Yep. You got it. You got it. It says lake, just written a little tape strip on the front of it. Okay. Well, shoot, everybody. <laughs> After I thought we'd only go two episodes, mm-hmm. we're going to go to number gonna... four. Four. so here we are we have our plan we've got our items we are out on the street we are out on our bikes robot robot is with you yeah it's it's probably not 4 a.m but it's it's a little after midnight okay okay well that's where we're gonna leave it for this time we're gonna have to finish this up on the next session so uh thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the shenanigans of watch of listening to three 12 year old children try to steal a car. Three 12 year old adults and children's bodies try to steal a car. Um, <laughs> you know, like you do. TTRPGs. That's what happens. So uh, my name has been Maxton. This has been role players guide to the universe. We are playing kids on bikes. Um, if you like the video, please like, and subscribe, ring the bell, uh, the algorithm, help the algorithm, leave a comment. There? We love to respond to mm-hmm. comments. Um, and you know, tell a friend we'd appreciate it i don't know but uh we hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and we will talk to you later so goodbye bye